Hello everyone, this is Everlasting and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be watching Bungo Stray Dog Season 1 Episode 3. Episode 2 was such an enjoyable episode, I really liked it. And now I'm really very much looking forward to this episode because, well, the character that I've been interested in since the first episode will... might be making an appearance here, so I'm really excited. Let's just start now. Wait, blonde. A double. <laughs> yeah. No flirting with the client. Um, what are you gonna do with him? <laughs> Yes. Dress in rags. Oh. Smugglers. Smugglers. Oh, without assistance? I mean, he needs someone. Usually. Okay, at the very least, he needs someone to teach him, guide him. Oh, God. What is Daze doing? Oh, you know him. A ma <gasps> mafia is Daze a former mafia? <laughs> the poor mafia. Beyond even the agency's reach. Yes, why? What's his ability though? Oh, oh. But does it can just nullify his ability, right? Name. I need the name. This girl is not an accomplice of that guy, right? I think she's trapping you though. Yes. I knew it. Blunt. Port Mafia. Senpai. How old are you? Can Daze sense that? What the heck? No! What the heck? Tourniquet? Tourniquet? I don't know how to pronounce that. Oh god. Okay, what does it do? Explain this ability. Ah! 
Oh my god. This is scary. Yes, why? No, you must have something that they need. Can you handle this alone? Oh god, Daza Ikonikida, we need your help. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. Will it work? Does he have a bulletproof vest or something? <gasps> oh my god. So his clothing is an ability as well? Oh. You're invincible then. Yes. Can Dazai handle this guy? Oh my god. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. I don't, I don't, I don't like this. He has such a beautiful life. <gasps> oh, 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 oh! Oh! I thought this was just under the moonlight though. So he can just run whenever he wants then? <gasps> oh god, oh god, oh god! Oh, 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 I don't think it works. It's not working. Oh, God. Atsushi. Joss. <gasps> then where? <gasps> oh, they can work together. They can use their abilities together. That's I. I know that voice. Yes, he can nullify both of their abilities. Oh, the other guy doesn't seem to know that. Oh. Oh, so that's what she's been listening to? Oh god, you! Yes, why did you allow this to happen then? Like, there. Where is Kunikida? Wait, the other guys. Oh? Wait, you know him! The word tiger. Yes! Oh! 7 billion yen? What is so important with his ability that he's this sought after though? Yes. 
In three days' time, we'll watch them leave and defeat you all. That's what I'm thinking. Oh! <gasps> oh god, so. This episode made me really interested in the. Uh, and the uh past of Dazai, like he's an expert mafia member. So I don't know if the agents, his fellow agents, heard that or they were just unconscious already, so they won't be able to realize it or know about it. But so Akutagawa, yes, I know his name now. Akutagawa and Dazai know each other, and I'm really curious about uh. Atsushi's bounty, why does he have this kind of bounty? Was the reason why he was abandoned was because well he has such a huge amount of bounty and his parents might not be able to protect him so they just let him go or maybe they were forced to abandon him because maybe they have the same type of ability. Maybe this is an this is a hereditary type of ability and maybe uh his parents just decided to let him free or whatever, there's so much mystery, and Dazai, like, Dazai, I'm, I'm super curious, like, so he's a mafia member back then, what made him quit, what made him uh, go back to this righteous kind of work, what is it, like, but he wants to die, like, I'm pretty sure with his ability, he must be one of the top, like, I've been wondering what can be the proper profession for Dazai and being revealed as a mafia, so a, a former mafia member, maybe he, maybe, yeah, I can see it happening, yeah. <laughs> With this eccentric personality, I just don't see any proper job working for uh Dazai, but it's surprising to see him being actually part of a mafia, especially this mafia. Now, I do think that they'll be able to defeat this mafia. I do think of that. It's just going to be pretty hard. <laughs> very hard. Because, well, they're very powerful. Or rather, Akutagawa's ability is really terrifying. But Atsushi managed to fight back. Or rather, fought, fight back, yeah. Um, and Dazai, I mean, as long as we have Dazai, I'm not scared. <laughs> I can nullify any ab ability. So I'm not that scared, to be quite honest. That's why when I heard Dazai, Dazai's voice, I was like, yeah, um, Chris is averted, nothing's gonna happen anymore, it's going to be okay. Like, the amount, even though he's such a weirdo, the amount of reliability that he has, the amount of power that he has, it just makes me feel like, yeah, everything's going to be okay as long as this guy is here. <laughs> I'm really wondering what's gonna happen next episode. Will the siblings be okay? I mean, they seem to still be alive. And I'm wondering what's gonna happen with that. And also, I'm wondering why, um, Dadzai kind of, um, let these three go and even let them be harmed. Like, what's going on? Like, since he knows about the Port Mafia, and I don't, I don't know, I feel like the one with Akutagawa doesn't seem to know, um, he doesn't seem to know Dazai, but Dazai seems to know her, or rather has a feeling that he's part of that group, and so I'm really wondering what's gonna happen in that, like, I wish, I wish we see a backstory, because I feel like Dazai and Akutagawa might have something, like, they must be really connected, because in the ending song, like, you can just see three main characters in that, and that's Akutagawa, Dazai, and Atsushi. And between Akutagawa and Atsushi, there's always Dazai in between them. So I'm really wondering, did Dazai kind of save Akutagawa? Is that the parallel? Is that the reason why uh, they're being uh, Atsushi and Akutagawa is being shown side to side? Because, well, they were both saved by Dazai. I don't know what happened. Like, 
and if that happened if that really is true if that theory is mine is true then what made Dazai abandon the kid he saved like that's only a theory guys it's not a certain fact i'm just theorizing here but yeah um I'm really looking forward to seeing what the next episode's gonna be. I really hope that we see other reaction of the rest of the agents once they know that Dazai is an export mafia member. Like, I wonder what will the rest feel knowing that um, Dazai actually already knows that they were part of the mafia, but still let them go will they have some conflicts i'm really curious but yeah um, thank you guys for watching this uh reaction i hope that you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you all next time bye everyone